Self-study of clinical looking glass, tutorial seven. In class exercise, building two new cohorts. For additional insights in cohort building, please read Riddles in Accountable Healthcare by Aron Bellin, available through Amazon, either as a paperback or Kindle. In the last exercise we had, we built diabetic cohort. And that diabetic cohort had two lines to it, as you recall. Let's open it up and take a look. Hover, you get a box, right click gives you the options, left click gives you the edit, and you see the two lines, diabetes hemoglobin A1c greater than or equal to 9.5 when in June of 02 to 03, with age 21 to 65, and a repeat hemoglobin A1c within 180 to 365 days after the first line. The index date points to the repeat hemoglobin A1c. But now what I want to do is I want to create two new cohorts. I want to create a cohort that not only had a repeat hemoglobin A1c, but that repeat value was bad. And bad by definition is greater than or equal to nine. I also want to create a repeat hemoglobin A1c that is good, and that good one is by definition less than or equal to 7. So how can I do this quickly? What do I have to do? Well, I have almost the entire cohort completed. I have the first line, which enrolled the cohort to begin with. I have the second line that has a repeat hemoglobin A1c. But the only thing I'm missing is another condition line on this repeat hemoglobin A1c that would also say its value is of a certain type. I don't want to have to rebuild everything from scratch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check off Save As. This means that when I save the cohort that I'm going to save, it's going to create a new cohort and not just overwrite this cohort over here. In order to prevent the overwriting, I have to give it a new name. In this case, I will call it bad diabetes. I will left click on this line. I'll say I'm going to edit it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the event. The way I'll do that is by selecting this, hovering over, it turns yellow, left click, it gives me the drop down because I'm choosing it. I'm going to modify the definition. And now, as you can see, all it is is a lab test with hemoglobin A1c. I'm going to add another condition line. I'm hovering over the definition, so it gets a box around it. I'm right-clicking so I get a drop-down menu. I'm adding a condition, and that condition is going to be a lab test value. That lab test value is going to be greater than or equal to 9. I'm going to populate this undefined condition by updating and closing. Notice how this enters into it, greater than or equal to 9. I'm going to just change this name to repeat hemoglobin A1c bad. Now I'm going to update and close, and this event definition will populate this box. Notice repeat hemoglobin A1c bad. I'm going to change its name here to say just bad. And now I want this thing to populate this line. This is what's being edited right now. Notice it says repeat hemoglobin A1c. Watch what happens when I hit update and close. Repeat hemoglobin A1c bad. So now I have modified very quickly the original cohort to be one with a repeat, but the repeat results are bad. I've checked save as. I've given it a new name. Notice, so far I only have one diabetes here in the management pane, and I'm now going to build. You can see there are 1,010 people who had a repeat hemoglobin A1C that was bad. And you also notice in the management panel, there is now a new cohort called bad diabetes. Now I want to make the good cohort. I want to save a lot of time, 
So I check Save As again. I change it from Bad Diabetes to Good Diabetes. I hover over the second line. I left click on it. I'm going to edit it in the same way. I'm going to change it from a bad one to a good one by changing its name. I'm going to modify my event definition, left clicking to get the drop down, left click on modify. Notice I have lab test, hemoglobin A1C, and I'm just going to modify this definition here. Right click, edit it, and instead of saying greater than or equal to 9, I'm going to say less than or equal to 7. Update and close. I'm going to change its name to good. And this whole new definition is going to come into this object. Notice it's good. Now we're going to update and close to this line. Notice that this is bad. We'll update and close. Repeat good. Now I've created my second cohort, or the rules for it. I'm going to left click on build. Notice here we only have two cohorts so far. We have 373 people, and here we have diabetes, bad diabetes, good diabetes. We have now successfully built two cohorts in addition to the original ones, but in these cohorts we either achieved a bad result or a good result, and our index state is pointing to the repeat result. So we're getting ready to use this cohort for the study designer, which will come up in our second lecture series. Make sure to repeat this effort on your own so that you fully understand how to do this because this is core to your use of Clinical Looking Glass. Also remember, when you leave a cohort, after you complete a build on the event canvas, just exit. Do not save, do not save and exit, just exit. Want to close? Yes, I do. And now I have three cohorts instead of the original just one.